Reports out of India say several people have been picked up for interrogation after the capital New Delhi was rocked by a series of deadly bomb blasts last night. At least 20 people were killed and close to 100 injured. The country is on high alert even as New Delhi residents try to make sense of the bloodshed. Everybody is scared and nobody is scared. Now it's such a big deal in Delhi. Now it's a big deal in Delhi to save Delhi. Because there are so many people here, so many people here, so many people here, so many people here, so many people go to the place. Now who will you get to? Security has been stepped up not just in the Indian capital but also at airports, rail stations and city centres nationwide. Five bombs exploded in quick succession on Saturday evening at several of New Delhi's busy markets. The Indian Mujahideen group says it's responsible for the blasts. An expert says the bombs appear to have been packed with steel ball bearings and nuts and bolts to cause the most harm. Police say they have uncovered vital clues and are hopeful of solving the case. Channel News Asia's Sweeta Prakash has more on the investigation. The CCTV cameras which were there at the location, uh, they have been taken out and they, uh, the evidences are being seen. Uh, there are thousands, literally thousands of eyewitnesses uh, who were there at the three locations where the bomb blast went. So interrogations going on on that. Uh, people uh, filmed all this uh, in their uh, cell phones. So those cell phones are being uh, deposited with the police. The police is going through this. So a whole lot of information that the police has, and they're going to be going through this. Uh, investigative uh, agencies are saying that there's this one man called Abdul Subhan Taufik who goes with several names, who's supposed to be uh, the uh, tech specialist of the Indian Mujahideen group. He is supposed to have sent the email to various news channels uh, in India claiming responsibility for this blast. The email landed about five minutes after the blast took place. Now, he's supposed to be a prime suspect in this, but nobody knows where he is. The investigative agencies say that he could have just disappeared in uh, Bombay and he must be still around. But Bombay is a city of 18 million people. To find a person out here is needle in a haystack.